Hi everyone, this is Peyton Hatch with Kuka Rankin. Today I've got a pretty fun video. I'm going to show you how to take a point cloud of a tunnel and essentially get a finished product like this out of it. This is a full tunnel extracted. And you can see it's been cleaned out in the middle. And we've even gone and gotten a very easy uh, volume calculation of this tunnel. So we'll just uh, let me fly through the here for you real quick just to show you what we're going to try and get later on. And let's jump into our camera and we'll start flying around. So you can see we've got some really good triangles on this tunnel. Um, there's no holes. We have no really any spikes, like there's no messy data, there's no people in it, because this tunnel was really dirty. And the, the software went through and automatically cleaned all of that out. And I'll show you the raw point cloud here right now. So this is the finished product. The software goes through, 3DR goes through, when it creates a point cloud, well, for point clouds not on the ground and point clouds that are technically on the tunnel, I'll turn both of these on right now just so you can see what we've got here. Let the poor computer catch up. There we go. So you can see there was a lot of mess in the way that we didn't get any of that. I mean, the entire, all this ventilation was removed from the tunnel when it runs through the extraction. And we'll go through all of that here in just a moment. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go backwards so you can kind of see a full process. Then you can also see how you can undo things that maybe you, you didn't want to do. So this tool will generate, um, it'll essentially categorize your points. Now, I want to uncategorize these. I want to put them back together. So I'm going to highlight both and tell it to group. And there they are. There they are grouped back together. And I'll rename this to uh, Tunnel Cloud. Come on, rename, we'll just call this full tunnel cloud and we'll remove this part out, enter. And you know, I don't like that it's black, I have a hard time seeing it. So we'll go here and we'll change it to a smooth and we'll change it to green. That is appealing to me, might be a little bright to some, but I can, I can easily see this and I like the smooth setting of the point cloud. Uh, you have full options here, so I can change it to flat. And I don't like flat. I have a harder time distinguishing, you know, uh, I just have a hard time distinguishing the point cloud and that. So here we go. So how do we go from this to a nice clean mesh to this? Well, here we go. First thing you have to do is you do have to create a center line. Now I have already done that. I'm going to turn it on here for you. Let my uh, let my screen catch up and process all these points. There is a whole lot of them. I went through and I created a polyline all the way through here, just using the extraction polyline tool. I went through and I just did clip 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 all along this, roughly in the center of the floor of the, uh, oh my heavens, my computer is really struggling. There we go. Just in the center of the tunnel. Now I do need to move that line up so that it actually sits more in the middle, but by drafting it on the bottom, it gets me pretty darn close. So I will then grab this polyline, highlights it, I'm going to go here to my coordinate systems, and I will give it a translation. Say, yes, we want to go in the Z direction, so Z is up. And we'll go 6.5 feet up in the air. We'll hit preview. You'll notice now that center line pops up into the air, roughly to the middle of the, of the tunnel. It's OK if it's not perfect. Um, I've ran this with actually with it only being a foot off the ground, and I get very, very similar results. So we'll just go ahead and press OK on that for now. Excellent. And we can now run it through our tunnel extractor. If you click on your point cloud, go over here to extract. Sorry, clean. 
With just the point cloud selected, you cannot hit clean up tunnel. You do have to have the point cloud and the polyline selected. Now you'll notice clean tunnel pops up. So we'll click on this and it defaults to a five foot extraction size. I found that this was not enough. I had too many holes in it. Um, a three foot extraction size was fantastic and I do wanna keep details. This setting right here is where it uh, categorizes your points. So yes, I wanted to create a point cloud on the tunnel and a point cloud not on the tunnel. So I can toggle them on and off and I don't lose the data. I still have the data there. I can just go back and get it. And I wanted to create a mesh of measured points. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just press okay. I, uh, I will pause the video while it is processing, uh, but I'll keep track of the time, say 2.56 right now. So you'll notice when I turn it back on, how long it took for this to, uh, to go. All right, everybody, we are back. You'll notice it's a uh, 2.59 now, so that took just over three minutes to finish. We'll get this point cloud rotated over and we'll take a look and see what we got. All right, so you can see we now have our uh, categories back. So point clouds on the tunnel, point clouds not on the tunnel. So I'll go ahead and turn off the ones not on the tunnel. So you can see what we have. We have also got the mesh, so I'll turn off the point cloud and here is our mesh. Now I have a hard time visualizing it and it's smooth as far as with the, uh, like I like my point clouds in the smooth setting, but on my surfaces, I, I don't like that very much. I actually prefer the smooth plus wire and I can really see the details of it. And let's go flip it around here to the back end. It's got an opening. And we'll go see how well it did cleaning out all those people. So let's actually turn on that point cloud of points not on the cloud. And you can see the software did an amazing job of finding all the people, all the pipes, everything, and just weeded them out of the tunnel. Because obviously you don't not want those for for the volume calculations. But also, this is this is fantastic. So you can now model the pipes and and the ventilation shafts in your in your mines. Um, you can pull you can now pull those out just by themselves and work on them. All right, so. We have our surface now done. Let me turn off the point cloud again. I've got a big hole right here. Um, there was another shaft that came off of that. I don't need to fill it in, but I'm gonna go ahead and do so right now. I'll just hit cloud mesh, surface modeling. We have the fill holes command. And I'll just go ahead and fill this hole and hit okay, exit. And we just filled in the hole from that. All right, let's, uh, let's get ourselves a volume. Click on the mesh, analyze, measure, volume. There it is. Press OK. Let's move this over here where we can see it. Excellent. And there is our volume. And you even got a nice volume report right here that we can, uh, we can open up. Um, but guys, yeah, that is our, uh, that's our tunnel extractor. As you can see, it's extremely simple, but also very powerful. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'd be more than happy to, to work with you and your team and see what other uh, exciting new workflows we can do to, uh, to help, you, help you be productive. So thank you very much.